Do you like seeing yourself on camera? And does the image you see correspond to the idea you have of yourself? Do others have the same opinion as you have? I've done some research on the web and found some interesting stuff that I'm going to share with you in this video, like the zoom face effect and how it increased the number of cosmetic treatments during the pandemic. I will also give you some useful tips on how to avoid face distortion on a webcam. So make sure you watch the video till the end. But let's first get the elephant out of the room. It's there, you see it. I have four stitches on my forehead, so it will be very hard to hide the scar in the coming months. I thought, how will I be able to record new videos? How will I look on Zoom at my next work calls? This made me think of a question that I was asked at a team meeting only one week ago. What is the one thing that you had to learn to do differently during COVID? There are so many, but the first one that came to my mind is that every one of us had to get used to be on camera. And not just the fact of looking at the camera lens instead of looking at other people. I'm talking about getting used to see ourselves on camera. We realize how other people see us, which not necessarily, at least for me, corresponds to the idea that we have of ourselves. We build this picture through thousands of times that we looked at ourselves in the mirror, but we only looked at one angle and mind blowing, we got used to a flipped version of ourselves. This is not how other people are seeing us. Well, if we were perfectly symmetric, there would be no issue. But none of us is. So if we don't tell our video conferencing software to mirror our image, then we'll see a picture of ourselves that looks weird to our eyes, just because the image is flipped compared to what we're used to. I realized this recently when I was preparing the thumbnail for one of my videos. I flipped the image because I wanted to have the writing on the left. But now every time I see this picture, there is something weird about it. So I thought, is it just me? I googled the topic and found the expression zoom face. Oh my god, it's definitely not only me. Many people are even taking it much more seriously. During the pandemic, many clinics reported an increase in consultations and cosmetic treatments to improve the on-camera appearance. However, before you consider Botox injections, you should be aware that the way you look on camera is not necessarily the way you really look like. First, Wide-angle camera distort your face. Look at the distortion on the side of my webcam. This for sure has an impact also on my face. Let's make a comparison with my mirrorless camera. Another important thing to consider is that if your camera is too close to your face, then the shape will be distorted, resulting in a rounder face and larger nose size. At 30 cm or 3 inches distance, there is a 30% increase in the size of your nose compared to the real one. Instead, if the camera is 1.5 m or 5 feet away from you, then there is no distortion. So the recommendation for a real look is to position your camera far away and then zoom in. Obviously, you should have a camera with a zoom function. So if you have a decent photo camera, please use this as a webcam. The only thing to do is to buy an Elgato cam link or a similar device that will send the signal from the camera to the computer, like I'm doing now with my mirrorless Sony. The camera angle also plays a key role, especially if it is below your eye line and points upwards, it will make your face look bigger. Another aspect is lighting. You should consider using diffuse lighting, as this will make your skin look better and avoid casting shades on your face. You also have some softer options. An easy one on Zoom is to turn on the Touch My Appearance option. But if your camera allows, you can also adjust the parameters like exposure, brightness, contrast, saturation, and so on. If you don't have this option on your camera, you can always use a software like OBS Studio, where all these parameters can be adjusted. So the message is, before considering cosmetic treatment, it's worth investing on your setup. Obviously, this helps making you look better, but it doesn't do miracles like making this scar disappear. So after all this thinking, I thought, who cares about this plaster and the stitches on my forehead? Maybe it's even a good thing because it will take the attention away from the other imperfections of my face. I will even be able to get the audience attention because I can tell a story. But if you can't handle at all seeing yourself on camera, just choose the hide self view option on Zoom. Now, if you want to learn how to elevate your video call presentations with OBS Studio, watch this next video.